Hello and you're very welcome. In today's short video we're going to look at making chocolate and orange muffins. These are a family favourite in this house and I'm sure your family will enjoy them just as much as we do. All the ingredients are set, the oven's on warming up, let's go. This recipe is based on the Mary Berry all-in-one recipe. What I did earlier was I weighed my eggs in the shells, 295 grams. So we've got five medium Irish eggs. It's the same weight then for all the rest of the ingredients. So it's 295 grams of butter, or stored margarine in this case, 295 grams caster sugar, 295 grams of self-raising flour. And then cocoa for the chocolate, as opposed to drinking chocolate, which is actually cocoa powder, milk powder and sugar mixed together, which makes it sweeter and milkier. But if you actually want the, that hit of chocolate, go for cocoa powder. And I've got orange essence for the orange part. You'll see here as well, I also have some baking powder. Even though it's self-raising flour, I do like to put a good heap teaspoon of baking powder in my flour. So let's crack on. First things first. In go my eggs. Then the fat. Then I add the orange flavoring. This is Val Valencian orange. A good heat, two teaspoonfuls for this size of recipe, I would say. Oh wow, that smell lovely. Then I've got a sieve now, folks. Managed, I had to buy a sieve. Remember, my sieve went missing in the move to Ireland. Now I'm going to sieve my caster sugar. And my flour. A good heap teaspoon of baking powder. And I don't know if you can see this. Two nice heaped teaspoons of cocoa powder. Just to give it a real good chocolate kick. Get that all served through. So far, so good. So, right. into the trusty Kenwood K mix with the K beater. And one last secret ingredient is a good sploosh of milk. In we go. Well, sorry, I'm doing this back to front. Start her off slow. Slowly build up the speed. Give it a good mix. We don't want to over mix it in case we start creating too much gluten or something in the flour. You know, we're not making bread here. Then raise the beater. Try and 
crusty spatula. Give it all a good scrape down. Oh, guys, I wish you could smell this. Oh, that's not chocolate. Oh, chocolate orange, honestly. Two things that definitely go together. Chocolate and orange, lovely. Right. In we go. Give it another quick blast. To me that looks like that's all mixed in thoroughly. So I'll just scrape it down. Oh look at that, that just actually looks like chocolate and orange mousse and the smell is amazing. So, I have my bun cases, or, sorry, I have my muffin cases prepared, nice festive reindeer ones, got those last Christmas from Lakeland, and I'm going to do my two spoon method to fill them, a good healthy dollop in each. Now, Eamon with about this amount of recipe to get two dozen muffins. I call them muffins. You, the cupcakes, fairy cakes, whatever you call them in your house. Relatively even, you can top up any that look a little short. Right, remember and scrape down the bowl as you go. Don't want to waste any of this batter. Tried different measuring spoons, different ways of doing this to try and get the same amount of mixture in each case. But it's very tricky, very hard, very time consuming. And if you watch the programs on the TV, where they make buns, cupcakes, whatever, they weigh, weigh out and measure out the exact same amount of batter in every one. And then when they come out of the oven, they're all different sizes. You get the odd small one, you get the odd big one. So, these at least look homemade because they can be a variety of sizes, but they generally work out okay. Probably jinx myself by saying that now. Time to put them in the oven. Preheated, 170 Celsius. Fan. And we'll give them about 17 minutes. Alexa. So the timer's gone off that they've had 17 minutes. They look very close to me. They're not brown as such on the top, but then they're brown anyway. We'll do the cocktail stick, remember? Pop a cocktail stick in. If it comes out wet, they're raw. If it comes out fine and dry, they're baked. 
to be honest. The cocktail sticks says they're fine. They've all risen, which is good. I'll show you them in a moment. Go into the cooling rack. Check these. They all look fine as well. Yep, cocktail sticks is they're fine. So we'll set these to one side to cool down. I'll give you a, a, a look at them in a moment and I'll put them on the wire racks then to cool fully. Now to ice these, there's two options. I suppose three options. One is leave them uniced. Second option, what I do, is I get a chocolate orange from the supermarket, melt it carefully in the microwave, you don't want to burn it, and pour it over, let it set, it's amazing, really nice. Or you could do a chocolate and or orange flavoured butter icing and pipe it on the top. Not going to do icing in this video, but if you come back sometime in the future, I'll show you how to ice these again. Uniced, these will store in an airtight uh, tin, Tupperware, whatever, for about a week to 10 days. Although they won't last that long. If people know they're in the house, they'll go. Um, or freeze them. They'll defrost really quickly, they freeze really well, and you can ice them once you've defrosted them. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Please try out this recipe at home, it really is some good. And let me know how you get on in the comments below. Until next time, cheerio.